Good morning, everyone. Welcome. I am the Baking Biker, and today is day three of our Utah motorcycle trip. And uh, we're headed down to, well, we are going to go to Utah, but we're going to bypass, and our next stop is in Kemmerer, Wyoming. But this morning, I wanted you to see the beautiful sunrise we have this morning. It's just gorgeous out there. And it is sprinkling out. They talk about rain, but right now it's just kind of a sprinkle. The ground is pretty dry. Our, bike, our bikes are wet, uh, but the ground is, is, the ground is dry. But it is uh, going to be raining here in Twin Falls as we leave. And then it's supposed to get nicer and sunnier. And then I think it's just going to be cloudy and around 70 degrees when we get to Kimmerer, Wyoming. So out of Twin Falls, we're going to take uh, Scenic Highway 30. Um, out of Twin Falls and then it'll connect with I-84 again and we'll continue I-84 down to Logan and from Logan we're going to take the Logan Canyon Scenic Byway Highway 89 to Bear Lake. It's supposed to be a gorgeous ride so we're going to take that Scenic Byway and then from Bear Lake we're going to take Highway 30 all the way. I think that one goes all the way to Kimmerer. So it should be a beautiful day. It's supposed to be sunny after we get out of Twin Falls and get a little further south. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that's true because we've been getting a lot of rain and so we're hoping for a little nice warm sunshine. We do know it's September and rain happens and it's a little bit cooler. Right now it's only in the upper 30s and so it'll be a really cool start to our morning but it should be around 70 when we get to Kimmerer. It should be a beautiful ride and again that sunrise. That is just gorgeous. So it's time for breakfast and I hope you enjoy the videos of our ride and the pictures I take and I hope you enjoy our journey. But it's time for breakfast. So let's ride. Welcome to day three of our Utah motorcycle trip. We're in Twin Falls, Idaho, and yes, it's uh, raining. It's just a light sprinkle this morning, so not a bad rain. Uh, other than, oh, I gotta clean off my GoPro here. Let's get that cleaned off for you. There we go, got the rain drop off. All right, so we're headed out. It's about 7.30 in the morning, around 50 degrees. It's warmed up a little bit since I made my intro video, which is only in the upper 30s at the moment. And it's going to be a pleasant ride today. So Shoshone Falls, two miles. Down below is the Shoshone Falls. So we'll get a better view for you. Oh, right here. A little waterfall, probably an aquifer again. All the springs creating all these waterfalls. Back when we were going along the Thousand Springs Scenic Byway, there are all these waterfalls. Well, they're fed by an underground aquifer that comes from the Idaho Plains Mountains. So it travels a long way, and then it just comes out right there at the, along the Thousand Springs, oh, tight corner, along the Thousand Springs uh, scenic byway, but it also looks like it's coming out through here, too. So It looks like this whole area is fed by that underground aquifer. So here's another one Yeah, I think I went too fast to see that one. Oh straight ahead is some more aquifer waterfalls, so they're all over the place. So we'll get ourselves parked here The Shoshone Falls were quite worth the visit. I'm glad we were able to make it this morning. I'm glad it wasn't raining this morning and we got to see them. The Shoshone Falls are 212 feet high and 950 feet wide. They call them the Niagara of the West. 
And if you're ever in the Twin Falls area, come check out Shoshone Falls. They are well worth it. I think we're going to get a little bit of a detour here on I-84. We just passed a sign and says, follow signs, not GPS. I thought that was kind of funny. So anyway, we're going to uh, continue here on I-84. And then we're going to get off the freeway, I see. So yes, don't follow the GPS because it'll be all confused with this little uh, roundabout we're going to take around the, it looks like a new overpass is being built. So I did like that warning. Follow the signs, not the GPS. We are now in the sunshine on Interstate 84. Oh, feel that sun. It's going to warm me up. Feel that solar heat. I'm up to 58 degrees now. We have hills on either side of us. To the east over there in the sunshine. To the west over there. A little sunshine, little cloud. And then straight ahead in the sunshine. Oh, it feels so good to be in the sunshine. Welcome to Utah. Life elevated. Elevation 4,513. Washington, Oregon, Idaho, and now Utah. Now Utah is our destination, but we're going to leave Utah for a day because we want to take a couple scenic byways. The first one will take us outside of Utah over to Kimmerer, Wyoming. And we are now in Utah. Nice lunch we had here in Logan, Utah. We went to Logan Heroes. Uh, they've been around for 30 years. Uh, and we had the daily special called Roger Special. And it was named after one of their favorite customers. And this is what he ordered every time he came in. So it was one of the regular customers. And uh, he always came in and ordered a Roger's well, he always came in and ordered the same sandwich, so they just named a sandwich after him, Roger Special. And that's what we had. It was a good sandwich. Uh, so a nice little stop and a nice little local place. Always good to find one of those nice local places. And then we took a little respite at uh, the Merlin Central Park, I think is the name of the little park we went to. There's some kids playing off in the background and we found a picnic table to kind of shut our eyes at and uh, take a little break before we head across the, see this is going to be the Logan Canyon Scenic Byway uh, across Bear, Bear River Pass or Bear River Mountains and it should be a beautiful scenic ride. We're going to, uh, Bear River Pass elevation is about 7,800 feet so we'll be going over a pass about 7,800 feet. I'm going to close up my visor here. And uh, so I think kind of that away. So we're just starting in the Logan Canyon Scenic Byway here. And already just coming into the Scenic Byway. This, this looks great. So far this beginning scenery looks wonderful. And we've just begun. It's about 45 miles, I think, of Scenic Byway. Looks like there's a walking trail over there. These are the Scenic Byways we always look for whenever we're riding. We always try to find the Scenic Byways and highways and get off the major freeway. Um, but we did take a lot of major freeway to get to this point where we can now start enjoying 
the scenic byways. I'd say this is kind of the beginning of our scenic byway tour. Because pretty much we're going to be off the, the freeways now. Until it's time to go home. But we wanted to get down here quickly so we didn't take all the scenic byways to get here. Because we want to take time to enjoy these. right now is in the mid 60s but it still feels nice it's sunny out it's a beautiful day to come through here the interesting rock outcroppings we have up there wow it's just been gorgeous this is like why we like to take these uh, scenic byways here we are rest area and then we'll be able to overlook Bear Lake down there look at that oh my goodness that is gorgeous what a beautiful scenic ride this has been so we'll get stopped and get some pictures for you What a viewpoint. Come up to the top and when you get over the top, what do you see? Bear Lake and it's beautiful turquoise aqua. I'm not sure what color to call it, but it's just gorgeous. What a gorgeous viewpoint. So now we're gonna head down and continue on Highway 89. We're gonna connect with, you name it, Highway 30. Yep, US Highway 30, but look at that view. Oh my goodness. Lakefront Road. Wow, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Look at how pretty blue that is. I don't know, is that turquoise? Uh, yeah, I call that turquoise blue. I'm not sure how cold it is, but it looks quite inviting, I'll tell you that. Welcome to Wyoming sign. I'm so sorry. I was talking to Rick about the clouds up ahead and speed limit is 70 now. We have 26 more miles to Kimmerer. And so I was talking to him about my, the GoPro and there's the sign. We missed it. Welcome to Wyoming. Shucks. Sorry. But this is state number, let's see, Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Utah. Oh look at state number five on this trip. So we're now in Wyoming.
Hammer, Wyoming. We are here, so now we're going to find the Fossil Butte Motel. We go through town this way, and I guess our motel is on the other end of town. So we'll just follow this. We'll just follow this through town, and we'll stand up. Because we're going through town, it feels good to stand up. I like my Triumph because I can stand up easily here. Where on uh, my shadow, the pegs were too far forward, I couldn't stand up on them. But I like this Triumph because I can stand up on it. Hi everybody, welcome to uh, Camera, Wyoming. We're here at the Fossil Butte Motel. There's, there's our motorcycles. That, it's hard to do this backwards, you know that? I need to point that way. That way, back there. I, I can't do that. I can't, I can't point there and try to do it backwards. So anyway, we made it here. What a beautiful ride that was as we went from Logan, Utah across uh, the Logan Canyon uh, scenic byway and then to come down onto uh, Bear Lake like that. Oh, that was just a gorgeous, gorgeous uh, scenic byway. It's Highway 89. If you're in the Utah area around Logan, you must take that drive if you haven't already. Or if you're a motorcyclist, you gotta take that ride. It was pretty. So anyway, we're here in Kimmer. Uh, we're gonna see about what we get to eat. We're gonna have to walk somewhere, either a mile south or a half mile north, but nothing right here. So uh, there is a Mexican, restaurant across the street but we had Mexican last night so we didn't want it again anyway and we went about 277 miles today and for the most part we just had a little bit of sprinkle there coming out of Twin Falls and that was pretty much it and then pretty much sunshine most of the day I know it took me a while I was moping around this morning waiting for that sunshine we finally got it and it's been nice the rest of the day it's kind of cool now it's uh, cloudy but they're not predicting any rain here right now but they are predicting maybe 40 percent chance in the morning but it may be just really light like we had in twin falls we'll see and then we're going to get to uh our next destination is vernal utah and um, it's supposed to be about 70 degrees and sunny there so uh, right now it's 80 degrees in vernal but tomorrow only 70 so Anyway, it'll still be nice. It'll be a great ride. Um, go see some uh, scenic byways there. And um, yeah, I'll let you know all about it in the morning. So I hope you enjoyed all the pictures and the photos. And uh, thank you for watching.